Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage for another interesting video. Right, so what we're going to do today, we have got two of my Pinecone Models um, 1 16th scale cars. This one is my older one, it's the SG1604. Um, I have got a replacement body for it but I've had to cut the wheel arches, explain that a little bit in a minute, um, and it's not got the um, top on it. This is a brushed uh, motor vehicle, it was my original one. I did buy a brushless motor upgrade, but I've not fitted that because I picked up this one, which is the SG1606 Pro. Um, it is the brushless version. It's pretty much the same platform. The wheelbase is about the same. There are a couple of changes been made to the vehicles, which I'll talk to in a minute. But before we get into all of that, don't forget to do the usual things. Like, comment and subscribe. Right, let's start off by talking other things and what we're going to do. It's going to be a two vehicle, but four tests. Because this one, which has got the brushed motor, um, comes with a 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. This one comes with a 7.4 volt, 1200 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery, a LiPo battery. So the plan is we're going to speed run this one. On lithium iron we're going to speed run this one on lithium iron we're going to speed run this one on lipo we're going to speed run this one on lipo and look at the comparison now using the new sky rc gnss gsm 020 i've got um changes let me take this shell off of that one so you can see them side by side you can see the wheelbase is the same the brushless motor looks a lot smaller on this. So this one's brushless, this one's brushed. There are some changes from stock. As stock, this one when I got it, came with the shocks that are on the brushless and the tires that are on the other, the rally blocks and the um, shocks. I switched the shocks and the tires over because I ran this on the outdoor rally course at East and it was just too fast. I didn't have the control on it. So it gave it more ground clearance, hence why the switch in the shocks and the rally blocks were better for grip on dirt. I also thought that these nice tyres off of the Mini looked better on this. Um, and... With the lowered shocks, I've had to cut the wheel arches to make sure that we've got clearance in the front. I have got another body for this that I may mount up at some point and a spoiler um, and all the rest of it. Um, we will get this mounted up later, but I wanted to show the comparison between the two, that they are the same wheelbase. The front ends are different. This one has a light in the rear this one doesn't but essentially wheel to wheel they're exactly the same they also both have the um, in the pack you get some slightly uh, shorter bars here that you put in because they're not adjustable they've just got replacement ones so I put those on on both of them uh, both batteries are fully charged up so and the battery in this is fully charged up um, I'm going to mount this under here and on this one it'll be mounted to back here we'll do the brushed one first um, so we'll get down to doing that outside as soon as the weather is appropriate to do that and I'll get you that footage and then we'll come back here at the end and pull it all together right outside um, we've got clear run um, I'm going to run this camera which is my old phone I'm going to run the GoPro down here to get the runs on and obviously my current phone has got the um, 
app on for this. So I'm going to get all of that loaded up and then we're going to start with the brushed motor with the, um, it's got the um, lithium ion battery in and then we'll run the LiPo battery in it and then we'll do the other one. And so the way I'm looking at doing this, I'm going to film the runs on the GoPro. I'm then going to give you the results via this and this and then we'll pull it all together back inside so we've got four runs or four sets of runs um, and then we'll pull it all together flat out flat out Very controllable. Flat out. Right. Stop. Read. And that's 18 mile an hour. The first set was 17, this was 18. So we'll now switch across to the LiPo battery and record that. Flat out. Flat out. So controllable. I think with the lowered shots and those wheels on, it just makes it so easy to handle. Right. Let's see how we do. Stop. Read. Seventeen miles an hour. Right. We'll see if we can back that up. Stop. Read. And the second run was 18 mile an hour. So they're both the same on lithium ion and lithium polymer. Um, both tests, the first set of tests <coughs> on lithium ion, I got 17. The second set, I got 18. On lithium polymer, I got 17. I got 18. Be interesting to see what happens on the brushless setup, which I'm going to run now. So I forgot. There's a switch here which I think is different speeds. So I've just done another run. Stop. Read. That's okay. It's 18 mile an hour on lithium iron. So it's getting the same results. <coughs> I thought it was me. I thought that was the light switch, but I think the light switch is on channel three as opposed to channel four. Um, but that's just backed up the data on the lithium iron. I'll now run the Pro, which I've got set to the third switch. Um, so that's all okay. So much faster. Well, and that's not the sky meter off the back. We'll just put that back on and uh, continue our testing. Um, I do like about this one that it's got uh, different body pins. This is so much faster on brushless than brushed. And this is only the lithium ion battery. But uh, yes, that's all fitted. Get another couple of runs up and down and see what we're doing speed wise. Seems to be able to get it better going away from me. Flat out and brake. Flat. Flat. Very much faster. Flat. So much more twitchy but that's probably because it's higher and it's on the rally block tires one less set oh gsm meters come off i'll go and collect that 
and then we'll see where we're at. Right, let's see. Stop. Read. So that's 23 mile an hour on lithium iron. Um, I'll try and back that off, off, back that up off camera. If I get anything different, I'll come back with that. So 24 mile an hour this time. 24 mile an hour on lithium iron. I'm a little, I'm a little bit scared about this one. I'm a little bit scared about what it's going to do because it was pretty fast before. Got some planes overhead so sorry about that for the audio for headphone wearers. Let's see if we can get another couple of decent passes. Uh, looks like we've got a problem with one of the rear tyres, so I'll have a look at that. As it looks like one of the rear tyres has come disconnected, so I'll get that sorted and um, then get this finished off and come back to you with the speed run detail. Sorry for the overhead noise, folks. Um, so I've turned the ESP right down and it's a lot more stable now. Um, so let's press stop, read. So <laughs> that's showing 23 mile an hour. I'll try and back that up. Now we've got it all stabled and whatever. I wonder whether it'll go up to 24 on the second run. So way more stable with the ESP turned off. Let's see what we get on the backup and 24 mile an hour so it seems that on this particular setup yeah we're getting both on the same well that was interesting uh, before this you should have seen a slide which shows the results of the testing that we did today um, we had some problems with the rally box wheels. So one of them's come unglued, so that's going to need to get sorted out. Um, once I had turned the ESP off on the brushless, it was a lot more stable, a lot less twitchy. Um, yeah, very, very interesting. So the overall results, the SG1604, uh, the brushed unit uh, on lithium iron, it was 18 mile an hour and on lithium polymer, LiPo, it was also 18 mile an hour. Interestingly enough, the SG1606 Pro, the brushless one, uh, the fastest on lithium iron was 24 mile an hour, and on LiPo was also 24 mile an hour. So it's six miles an hour faster than that. Um, makes a lot of difference. <coughs> It, I may switch the tyres over, I may switch the setup over, I may switch the body over and see what that does. Um, because it may be that this chassis with this body lowered and on those tyres maybe even faster. Um, but I thought that was very interesting. Um, having a lot of fun with this and creating the database of numbers. Um, so I'm going to put all of that together. What would people like to see from me? What more would you like to see from Sharky's Garage? Um, drop it down in the comments section. Uh, let me know what you think. And thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you all again next time. Right, folks. So I was sitting at the computer transferring the files on from the filming and double checking all my data, looking for all the stats. And everywhere it was showing that the uh, SG1606 Pro was delivered with a lithium iron battery, despite this one's clearly saying lithium polymer. Now, I've had it a while, so it could have been that the Gen 1s did have it, but there is a possibility that this battery is actually a lithium iron, not a lithium polymer. This battery, the WL Toys one, we definitely know is a LiPo. 
as such what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the 1604 because it was more stable out and run it with this um, to see if it makes a difference. If it does make a real difference I'll run both of them and give you the results. faster or not. so much more stable. So this is the brushed 1604 running the WL Toys 20C LiPo. Stop. Read. 18 mile an hour. So it's the same as the other, so it may be, so it may just be that that's the case, but at least that's confirmed and backed it all up. WL Toys 20C LiPo, second run, stop, read, 17 mile an hour. So, yep, confirmed.